Hello friends, happy Friday night. How are you? Um, I hope that you guys all had a great week and uh, we're ready to get the party started. So I will wait until I can see some of your um, numbers showing up here on my screen because there is a delay always when it's live. If you're watching after the fact, you were watching me as soon as you started, press play. Uh, but we'll just give everybody a second to jump on. Hello, hello. Hi, Brenda and Zori and who else is here? Kelly and Kari. How you doing, Kari? I hope you're feeling better. I hope today was or this week was a good week for you. Hi, Heather. How are you? Yay. Hi, Julie. Catherine. Lots of my friends are here tonight. Um, hope you guys are, are doing well, like I said, before I get into the whole thing. We'll wait till everybody just kind of jumps on. I see lots of Facebook and lots of YouTube friends here. Hi, Natalie. How are you? And don't let the playing with neon scare you off. It's going to be really fun and really pretty tonight. So I have a couple fun little tricks we're going to try. And even if you don't have neon, you can use anything that will show up. If you want to use oxides, if you want to use paint, whatever you want to use, you totally can do that. Okay. So don't let it freak you out. But I do want to show you the neon texture paste uh, before they go away. So you get a chance to grab them because they really, really are super fun. Uh, Scrab Addicts had a sweet rush on their live today. Fun. I haven't even done the walkthrough because the paper is just coming in. So uh, American Crafts sent me the open stock paper. So I am planning my sweet rush walkthrough uh, maybe next week sometime. So I want to send a newsletter out. I have lots of things to talk about that will go through as the night goes on. Hello, friends. Lots of people joining in. Hello, Suzanne and Christine and Pam. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. We had lots going on this week. My dad's birthday was on Sunday. Riley's birthday was yesterday. Uh, the weather was so nice the last two days. So I got outside for a little bit and uh, it, it lifted my spirits. I find that um, the weather warming up and the sun shining is just what the body needs sometimes. So I did that. And the other thing that I did is tons and tons of product arrived this week. So I've been sorting that out. I have a lot of stuff that I will be adding to my shop. I did post on the Vicki Booten Creative Community on uh, Facebook, my private group or my group page on Facebook, that um, I am going to be doing an order of the new 49th and Market. And then we're going to do a whole bunch of Friday Night Lives or even uh, added class kind of thing with that new stuff. So it won't be like a traditional class. Uh, but it will be one that, hey, join in if you want. If you want the kit of what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be putting my order in this week. So very excited about Spectrum. Uh, uh, is it Spectrum Sherbert? Sherbert Spectrum? Spectrum Sherbert? It's going to be awesome. It's rainbow. So you can't go wrong with rainbow. So that is going to be happening. Hello, Darina. How are you? Um Going shopping and having a chai tea help brighten your day. Yeah, I bet you, Keisha, right? Hola. I'm excited because I have Vibu texture paste. Love it. Question. Do you have any plans yet for National Scrapbook Day? What day is it, Catherine? I don't even know. I'll have to. Maybe that's one of the things that we can do on that um, day. I don't know. I'll have to plan for it. But the 49th in market, this, when I was talking to Janine, who was the owner uh, she was saying this is one of their largest collections ever. And that's why I'm like, okay, I was putting my order in and I'm like, I better reach out and see what the interest is because maybe I'm not going to order enough. If I love it this much and if you love uh, what I do, then I feel like people will really want this one. So it's going to be shipping in April as well. So that will be excited. Got your box shipped today. Thank you, Keisha. Hi, Kim. Uh, no daughter visit tonight, so you can visit for a change. I love it. Hi, Wanda. How are you? I haven't seen you for a while. Hello, Jessica. So, yes. So the plans for tonight. Let's talk a little bit about um, some of the things that are I've been up to. Did you notice that I posted something this week that is an exclusive with scrapbook.com? And it is this that will be coming out. So I just said, if you're just tuning in now, I'm going to do my walkthrough of all of Sweet Rush um, 
probably this week. All depends when the paper arrives from American Crafts because they just sent me. I have not had the open stock paper. So once I have that, I have everything else so I can do a walkthrough of that. But there is something very special that scrapbook.com reached out to us and wanted to do something that was an exclusive. And it's this. Did you guys see this uh, stencil set? So it was a gift with purchase this week, but it's all gone. But don't worry because it will be for sale soon on scrapbook.com. So if you didn't get a chance to grab this set, it will be available. It is very fun. This is what it looks like when it's stenciled. So I did want to share that. Look how fun um, with you guys. So when it uh, is posted, I'll let you know. So if you wanted to grab it with uh, any of your sweet rush, you can do that. And I made like lots of fun projects with it. Look, a standalone card using the stencil sets. So very fun. And some layouts. I won't, I won't go through all of these, but I will be posting them on um, my uh, interwebs on all of my social media and on scrapbook.com on my, um, what's that called? Gallery. So it is coming, but super fun, right? Super fun. And I use gesso there. Oops, this corner. Ooh, my hand. It's all backwards, right? So I will be sharing some of that with you guys. But just a heads up, if you're like, oh, I had there was nothing I wanted to order. So I didn't get an order in or I was too late to get the um, bonus gift with your purchase. No worries, because they will have some for sale as well. And the other thing I would talk about, did you guys see the video that I did with um, Pink Fresh for um, a ch Create and Chat with uh, my friend Jeff? And this was the card that I made for that one. So definitely check out Pink Fresh if you haven't already and you can see how to do that one. I talked about it last week, but I didn't have the card to show you. And the set that I used was the Brighter Days from Pink Fresh. I wrote it down so I would remember. Um, but it's the stencil set, it is uh, the stamp set and the dies. So you definitely might wanna check that out if that is appealing to you. And I'm just, I see, I'm doing the minutes because all the things that I forgot. And then remember when we talked about saltwater taffy, I don't think I had this layout. So I did this and a lot of you asked for the technique that I used with the embossing powder so um we're gonna do that i'm gonna end up doing this one uh, i think i'm gonna do a whole ranger and tim holtz week or month maybe in the month of april or something because i think that that could be fun because guess what i did i've ordered a ton of stuff i have a ton of uh tim holtz and ranger so i think that that would be fun for us to visit my favorite ways to use distress and uh, some of the other products like paint markers and other things that I have. So um, just wanted to catch up with all the things that I've been doing, right? Brighter's Days stamp stencil. There is also a hot foil plate. Yes, and I will put uh, my share sale links. I think I did. I put share sale links up for that one because I know that I hadn't uh, shared that with you. Um, uh, the six by eight pad from 49th and Market, please. So you want me to add a few of those, Jane, in the store? Um, I will do that because uh, it is, it's very pretty. The line is beautiful. Do I have Lail stamps yet? No, she was waiting for the backer cards, but I will be getting them. She's going to send them to me. Vicki, did you order the foundry waxes? Otherwise, I need to add. I did. I did order some, uh, Nat. Um, so I did order some last week. So they'll take a little bit to get here. But yes, when you are, because I, I reached out to Natalie and I asked her, do you want this or do you want some of this? So I do have a whole bunch of things coming in. So we're going to be playing with them. I think a whole month of distress would be really fun in just the way that I like to use it, right? So I think that will be fun. I'll talk about that. I'm going to send a newsletter out. I'm trying to be like ahead of the game so you guys can prepare for it. So I have lots of plans and lots of notes have been taken. So we're going to be doing that. Um, Sweet Rush is going to be shipping. Um, I'm going to start working on my project once the open stock comes in. So if you guys have been on the fence, you'll be able to see all of the fun stuff. So yes, lots and lots of fun things coming. So definitely, if you have any special requests about that 49th market, please post it on 
the Vicki Booten Creative Community Group page on Facebook. I have two posts, a poll that asked, because I wasn't sure, I'm like, there's a lot of product in that kit or in that uh, collection. So I was trying to kind of piece together what I'd like to use. And I put it out there because it'll, it's a lot of stuff, right? So I wanted to see, gauge what the interest is. And then I'm going to just put my order in and then I might post it kind of as a pre-order. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and place your order for that. But I did reach out to Janine and she said, it's fine if you don't get your order until this weekend. They ordered lots because they knew it was going to be super popular. And uh, yes, if you want, like say with that, you're like the six by eight pad or the fabric tape or the washi tapes, post it in one or the other of those posts so I'll know um, where to find it. Tonight, we are going to be using the new Pink Fresh line called Happy Hearts. So I'm gonna use that as my paper product tonight for when the um, technique is done. If you don't have it yet, you're gonna to wanna to check it out. It's beautiful, even just for the pack of titles. There's a die cut pack of titles that pff, blow my mind. Absolutely awesome. Vicki, can I get the paper you used in Crop and Create November? I don't even remember yesterday, Jerry. So you have to you have to give me more than that and don't post it here because I won't see it. Okay, I won't remember. So um, just make sure I'm going to be ordering all of the 49th and market, like everything that is coming in that collection but not everything will be in the kit because otherwise it would probably end up being like 300 Canadian. Like it's a huge product release. So um, I'm going to, thank you. Jennifer likes my outfit. Look at, got tiger. What are these leopards? Is that what's got spot on it? Hi, Adam. Hello, my friend. How are you? Um, so yes, it, lots of stuff is coming. So any questions before we flip the camera and start? If you, somebody posted, Vicki actually posted that she's not sure if she's a neon fan. So she's nervous about the product tonight, but you're going to see it is so beautiful. The neon is so pretty. It's not like, um, you know, relax, don't do it, right? When we went through the neon uh, off the shoulder, uh, Frankie goes to Hollywood uh, and and wham shirts. It's not neon like that. Like we're not going to revisit the 80s necessarily. Right. But uh, it's going to be good. So any questions? Oh, let me look. Will the cool art crayons be back in stock? 100 percent. I ordered cases of mediums. That's what I'm doing this whole weekend is going through it. I will send out a newsletter letting you know when the restock is going live, but it will be at some point next week. I have extra fernwood kits that I'm going to put on sale because I want to clear as much stuff out as possible. So when Sweet Rush and the 49th and Market come in and lots of stuff. So there'll be Ranger posted. There will be um, all of my mediums will be posted. I will have foundations, paper, all of the things will be going up on there, okay? You miss happy wham music? Me too. I don't have your neon paste, but I do have picket fence uh, glaze colors. Use whatever you have, right? Of course, I love when you guys are using my stuff, but you know it isn't imperative to playing with me, right? But I wanted to use these tonight because it's, right, mixed media madness for the whole month of March using Vicky Booten products. And this is one a lot of you've probably purchased and maybe never even taken out of the package. So I want tonight to inspire you to pull out the uh, texture paste that came with color study and to use them because they're super fun. Yay, you bought some more Fernwood and color study this week. I love it. Love both those collections. And guess what the other thing that happened this week? Hello, Scarol. How are you, my friend? Um, I wrapped up my fall collection and it is going to blow you away. It is so good. There are a lot of really fun new SKUs coming out with that one. And it is so good. Vicki, I'm a newbie here. Where's your store? VickiBooten.com. VickiBooten.com. Uh, if you look, hover over the shop button and go and look through, I'm going to try to clean some stuff up so it's easier to find, but I will put a whole section that's new um under the news section so anything that i post i'll make sure it goes into that little section as well so yay let's do the things okay and i think that's it for the questions right but tonight's gonna be fun i'm gonna flip the camera and talk about what you need 
I want to do like some fun things that are kind of, it look, it'll look kind of graffiti ish tonight. It's going to be fun. And it's only going to go around the outer edge of the page. And we're using black for Natalie again, because the neon really pops on that, but we're going to make it go on to the black and the white. So you see what it looks like. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And then I even have some photos printed. And like I said, I'm going to use the uh, pink fresh collection uh, tonight. So it'll be a lot of fun. So, um, oh, and guess what? I'm going to post tomorrow. I have extra of the Pink Fresh. I'm going to show you what I'm going to give away. Uh, you'll have to go over to my private group, Vicki Booten Creative Community on Facebook, and I'm going to do a giveaway there. So I think what I'm going to give away, because I just feel like the sun was out today. Vicki feels great. I'm going to do a giveaway um, of a stack of Pink Fresh and a $25 gift certificate to VickiBooten.com. So if you need art crayons or whatever, you can totally do that one winner. And I'm going to post it tomorrow. So if you haven't joined the uh, creative community, make sure you do that. If you're watching on replay, I'll leave the giveaway up for a week. So that gives you guys uh, some time. But I think it'll be fun. We'll give a gift certificate to my store and then I'm going to mail out to whoever uh, wins a random winner next week um, of the Pink Fresh Happy Hearts, some extras that I went in there. Where is the cruise info? It is on um, cruiseandcrop.com and then you just go to cruises, you look down. There is one if you still want to come. I think you still could get in, uh, want to come away with us in June. We're going to Spain and Italy, leaving from the UK. Adam's coming with me and so is Kari. I don't know who else is here tonight. Um, there's still spots on that and then the other two uh, you'd have to get on a waiting list because the other two are, are sold out. But I am going to add another Caribbean one for 2023 so um it's all it's i just think cruising is the easiest way to go because your hotel your food and your cropping entertainment all of the things are in that one price it just makes it easier and for some of you you can bring your significant other or your family with you and you can make it a family vacation and when they're at the pool you can just be cropping and creating some pretty stuff with me so Yes, that is all of the things I'm going to stop. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. How are you? So I'm going to flip the camera and we're going to get started. I'm very excited for tonight. Let's do the things. Here we go. So um, if you have any questions, I still can see you. You can let me know. But uh, thank you for all of the comments on telling me I look good tonight. I will take it. Who doesn't love to hear that? Thank you very much. I feel good. I feel very good. So a uh, thank you for that, my friends. So these are the neon texture paste. So do you see what I'm saying? They aren't like freaky, scary colors. They're just really bright and they look beautiful on black. So I, like I said, I'm sure a lot of you have purchased these and you can use the, if you don't want to use the neon, but you have the um, other set prior to this one, you totally could use that. You can use paint. You could use oxides. You can use whatever you want, okay? And you can watch and decide if it's something you want to play along with or if you're like, I'm just hanging out with you tonight, Vicki. But tonight's thing wasn't my thing. Then don't have to do it, right? But I prepped a card. My goal tonight for 100% is to get a card done and the layout done. So that's why I've got to get moving, right? <laughs> got to freaking get moving. And the other thing I want to say is one, if you celebrated a birthday this week, an anniversary, if it was a really rough week, um, and I'm looking right at you, my friend on the screen, you just commented, I'm sending you lots of love. And I hope tonight brightens your um, soul tonight. I just, I hope that uh, you enjoy um, checking in with me on Friday nights as much as I enjoy spending the time with you guys, because every single one of you that shows up means I'm not sitting here doing it all by myself. So I freaking appreciate you. So I just want you to know that because, you know, I'm not afraid to say it. Hi, Joan. Vicki, any word on your stencil brushes? Um, yes, that is something that we are working on for fall. So it has been sent out waiting on um, the samples to come back. 
but I think these aren't as stiff, but you could probably use until the stencil brushes come out, just buy yourself a blending brush or two, right? But um, the stencil brushes, are, they are in the works. I have listened to you and we're doing the things. Big hugs, Julie. That's super, super tough, right? Super, super tough. But um, very excited. I'm using an older picture for tonight just because I didn't have a chance to print something. But um, I need something that would work on this. So I might not leave this on here, but at least... I have uh, something planned and I saw it was somebody's anniversary. So happy anniversary, happy birthdays, all the things that are, are going on in your lives. I'm very excited for you. It's very nice to have something to look forward to, isn't it? 45 years married to the same man. Wow, Linda, that is very, very exciting. And happy early birthday to Laura Laforet or is it Laforest? Is it French or is it Laforest? Is it Laforet? So let's do the things. So tonight, my idea is that we're going to take a piece of foundations paper. We are going to mask it and we can decide on the size. I'm going to cut them down and I want to do something like this where we mask two pieces and we're going to color it with black all around. Okay. And I'm going to brayer it because I think it'll be easier to control where the paint goes. So I'm going to brayer around it. And then we're going to take stencils and we're going to lay the neon in that open or in that black area. Isn't that going to be fun? So that's what my plan is for tonight. So guess what? If you don't have the same things that I have, it doesn't matter. Use whatever you want. You still can use the technique, right? So I love it. Glenda, happy early birthday. Very exciting. Who's birthday buddies? Oh, Laura. Is, Laura, did you tell me it was La Foray? Or is it La Forest? I don't want to say it wrong. I was being fancy with the French, but maybe it's not that at all. I'm going to get a craft mat, though, to minimize my cleanup when we go to brayer the black on. Because it's going to be a hot mess for a minute. Okay, I'm ready. See, I was so ready. I was just standing here waiting for 8 o'clock for like 15 minutes. Just standing here. Looking at the computer going, okay, is it almost eight o'clock? Because I got to get on here with my friends. So I am very excited. So many of you are showing up. It, was it nice in your part of the world? Vicki, can you move the paper? I will. I wasn't ready yet, Ada. No, no worries. I can see it on my screen. So I knew it wasn't on screen. And then I can always adjust my camera too. Okay. So your hubby is French? Mine too. That's why I'm Vicky Boutin, but it's Vicky Booten, right? Vicky Booten, because I was a Smith before this. So here is my base. Everybody can see that now, right? Hi, Denise. How are you? Today is your birthday. Happy birthday. It's cold and wet in BC. Less rain today, but it's soggy. Yeah, not fun. Not fun. I just, we had very nice weather for two days like very nice like it was celsius it was 21 on thursday and today was 15 and i have to tell you that oh my goodness what that does for your spirit hello brianne i'm so glad that you came to visit me i have missed you i have missed you brianne so this is eight and a half so we could do it a square we could do it ish it doesn't matter i'm going to cut two of them so we have to decide. I'm going to cut my first one as a square. Let's just cut that as a square. Eight and a half. Okay. And I want it to go like this. So now we have to decide, do we cut another eight and a half just to make it like that? Or I'm going to cut this one a little bit um, longer, just a little bit, like maybe nine and a half. Hi, Lori. How are you? I am very happy to see you here, Brianne Loveland. Very, very happy. So I am going to decide, right? How oh, I think like that. I like that one, the longer one, the rectangle to go like this. And then I'm going to put the other one like this. Now, isn't that funny? Because like this i want them to be on here so you could tack it down if you want maybe we'll tack it so it doesn't move 
Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi, Gail Ann. It was 86. Well, you're in Arizona, right? I would hope that um, you guys are starting to get some nice weather. I even noticed for my friends in England, you look like you guys are getting some really nice weather too. Hi, Lori. I'm so glad that you're here with me live as well. So I'm going to tack these down and decide. I think that I'm going to move this one. So what I'm trying to do is just make sure there is enough of a border. So I'm just tacking them with washi just so it doesn't move. And then deciding on this so there is enough of a border around it. I just thought it'd be kind of fun, right? It might work. It might look like poo-poo. We'll see what happens, right? But who cares? It's one page and all it is for is the commitment is my time and a piece of paper. So if I don't like it, I don't care. I'm just going to go with it anyway. Hi, Lizette. How are you, my friend? Um, so now I'm going to take my black paint and I'm going to brayer it all around here. And hopefully when it's done, it doesn't look like crap. It actually looks nice. Do we think, so here, cause Vicki can do this. I think I need to go smaller. So I think I'm gonna leave this and I'll tell you why there's not enough border around here. So I am changing my mind cause I can do that. So I'm gonna make this one my biggest. And then I don't have enough border if I do that, right? So I'm cutting this down to eight by eight. I'm changing my mind. Because as I'm looking, I'm like, hmm, I want more of a stenciling area. So I'm changing my mind because we can do that. Maybe better, do you think? Oh, let's go with it, right? paper and um, my time. What sizes are those cut pieces? So um, they are now eight and a half by eight and a half and eight by eight, Michelle, or whatever you want, right? Whatever you want. Oh, are you on? So, oh yeah. Some of you guys, are you on March break? I know it's March break around here, but not for us because my kids are older, but yeah, it is March break, right? What I'm going to do for the card to give you an idea of what's going to happen here is I'm going to mask. I only want when we're done. Oh, this will work perfectly. I'm going to do a strip of black. So while we're working, if you want to do a card two, get this piece ready. And all we're going to do is brayer some paint, black paint on that side, because I want to stencil just in the strip and we're going to layer a word on here. So it's going to be a super quick card, but for my card loving, friends we are going to have something that will hopefully make you guys happy too spring break started today yay right fun hello mari how are you and bernadette's here is angie here too i have not seen my friend angie for a while too i think both sisters should be in the house right so i have masked that so you're gonna somebody's gonna ask me what the size is here. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to tell you because maybe it matters to you. It's about one and a half inch. And my card is going to be a five by seven just because I want lots of real estate. So my card is five by seven. So this mat right now is four and a half, four and a half by six and a half with a one and a half inch masked or the open piece is one and a half on that. Okay. So it's ready to go, so I can do that as well. Okay, let's get rid of this. Sorry, friends. Weird stuff is going on here. Um, yay! Okay, let's do it. Uh, Natalie's going to get coffee and a cake. She'll be back in a minute. Who made cake? What's the cake for, Nat? Did she say and I missed it? 
Yeah, I just I just blocked that person. So hopefully it will be good, Deborah. I blocked it. So let me know if um, something comes up. But I did. I blocked it. So I'm going to put my paint right in the middle. I'm going to try this. So if you want to watch first, that is fine. Get that little paint scum off there. And now my fingers are black, but it's good. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to brayer it from the center because this is all a mask anyway, right? So what I'd recommend is load your brayer up. And then let's just go in and see how this is going to work. Because I don't even care if it is perfect, right? We don't care if it's perfect. Actually, look at I'm kind of loving how this is turning out. You might have to get a little bit more paint in there, but less is more. You can always add, but it's hard to take away. And we are going to brayer some paint around there. Get it in as tight to your mask as possible. And this is going to take a couple of applications. Okay, again, load up my brayer, and then watch. I just put a lot of paint there, so be careful with that, okay? Less is more, right? Don't do what Vicky just did, because my mask line is going to be a little not so pretty right there. But I'm all right with that, whatever. It's a piece of paper, and this is only one layer, right? And you can move your paper around, too, if you're finding it hard to access some of that. Just move your paper around, but really brayer it out because you want this to dry as fast as possible. It's really thick there, so I'm just trying to move that around. Really thick there because I kind of pushed too much paint out. Just going to wipe into that corner a little bit. Okay, and there too, just brushing that out because I know there's a big gob of paint. Let's get rid of it and then brayer on it so I don't have those brush marks that I don't want there. Very good. So let's take a peekaboo. I'm going to peekaboo going to be fun and it's okay if it's kind of messy because I can also go in and just kind of brayer around but this is only one layer right so you know when I do some of this stuff it's kind of like let's try this and sometimes it works out exactly like it was in my head and sometimes I look at it and go well that's not what was in my head at all <laughs> but I will go with it anyway right so like I said, friends, if it's not perfect, that actually adds to the charm. So leave some of those just kind of partially covered areas. We're going to go with it and see what happens because that's what Friday Night Live is all about. How are we doing? Late to the party. Hello, Danielle. Not really late. We're just getting started. So we masked with an eight inch square and a, um, what did I put the other one? Eight and a half, I think. And I'm gonna show you when I take it off because we work through some of this stuff, right? A little bit more, but I don't want to cover all that white up. I'm liking some of it to be just kind of broken. For some of you who are looking at this and going, oh my goodness, Vicki, that is a hot mess express, but just be patient. It will be good might not be good now but we'll make it good okay so I'm going to take this off now and let's look what that looks like so see where I told you paint kind of went underneath there so you know what I'm going to do for some of those areas 
I don't want it to be that perfect little black mark. So I am going to take some of that paint and bring it in. So now um, where it looks a little ugly, we will try to make it look a little better. It's a hot mess. Mess wise. Hot mess mess wise. I like that, just where it looks a little dirtier on the edge. Okay. So just get ready, because when we go and start layering the neon, it's going to be so pretty. So I am going to move this aside. i got to fix that up though a little bit, because that really bothers me. So I'm trying to pick some paint up because I don't want a lot of paint. I just want it to look dirty on the edges. Okay, that makes me feel happier. Okay, so set that aside. It should be almost dry. It's gonna be almost dry, okay? Yes, the graffiti look, right? But you know why I did that is because it looked a little messy. It was a little messy. So when you go to do now your card, it'll be okay if the back gets a little dirty because it's going to be matted. But um, you do not want a lot of paint on your brayer. I want you to build this in layers. So I'm only going to put a little paint on my brayer. Try to get the cleanest line where my mask is. I'm going to load it and I can come right along the edge. Oh, I love that already. Look at that. I love that. Do you love that, Natalie? Did you guys see uh, Natalie is here tonight? Mari's here. I don't know if Nicole is here. I haven't seen her comment, but uh, their projects were beautiful. And Natalie did a whole bunch of stuff with black. Um, and they were awesome because this is definitely near and dear to Natalie's heart. She likes the black stuff. Okay, a little bit more. I just want this side to be black. And then I'm going to lift and did, do the same thing that we did with the paper. The full paper is I'm going to get it in. So the edge has that kind of uh, track mark looking bit going on, okay? So just right here a little bit. Okay, love it. And watch if your hands are dirty, but I love that, okay? Whatever you get, it's perfect. Yes, this is perfect for a slimline, I agree. So let's act like we got to add a little bit to it. So let's just do a little, a bit of that. There you go. And I will do that after. A little slimline business there. See, I'm learning all that curd nonsense, yummy goodness. So um, I am going to be at Crop and Create Delivered, the card class. So be ready for it, Mari. I'm going to be there doing it with you. I love it. So I am going to, this is a hot mess express. I would really recommend giving it a wipe right now while it's still wet. My Mr. Bottle is almost empty. So let's just give it all a little wet wipe. And then what is fun is um, it's next weekend, I think, right? So yeah, I'm doing it. I can't wait. Play and do all of the things. I'm, I'm totally going as a student just because I want to do something totally just for myself. Isn't that fun? 
just like you guys do when you do your classes, right? So you know when you add water and paint, you will get a hot mess. So you want to pick up as much paint as you can and then wet it again. Okay, I try to go in with something dry-ish. And I don't care if it's perfect right now, just so it's not gobs of paint. So that's good enough for me. I'm going to throw this on the floor. And then we'll give my um, desk a little bit of a wipe. And I'm going to get a second craft mat. Just so I don't have to clean all that black abyss right the abyss yes there we go okay yay and i'm going to give my hands a little bit of a wipe too because black right that's the problem with black it goes everywhere there we go good enough okay let's grab good enough until it makes a streak and then I can't leave it. Okay, I'm gonna grab my other craft mat and now it's time for the neon. And we'll see, maybe those pictures won't work. I might decide to go black and white. I might decide to go black and white. We will decide as we play. So giving my hands a little wash, I'm all set. Can't help it. It's like orange juice or sticky stuff on my hands, right? I have to clean it off. So now I will grab my other craft mat. Yay. Yes, I'm looking forward to Mari's class. It will be so fun. So now my paint is dry enough, right? Does this bother you guys that it when you look at it, are you like, ooh, this is not in my wheelhouse. Who's looking at this and going, ooh, I don't know about this at all. You can be honest and you can tell me at the end if you end up liking it or if you're like, yep, still not going to do this. But I feel like we need to try different things, right? What are you making? I'm going to make a layout and a card. But now I'm going to go in and we're going to pick stencils and I want to layer some stencils. So that means that we're going to want something that is a bigger size and something that is linear. And then maybe like three patterns. I feel like let's pick three patterns of stencils. So it could be maybe a large polka dot, um, a script, and then a little polka dot or hearts, something like that, right? Uh, Tim should visit. He'd be so proud. Yes, because I'm getting like on my darker side but now you know I'm going to invite the rainbow in Julie right so um this is I think how you kind of have to decide if you use like a uh, text what direction you want it to go in so just decide like what you like move it around you know and I actually like it like that I'm going to do it like this this is going to be the top and the bottom Catherine is on the fence She's hopeful she will like it, right? Not my wheelhouse, but I'm trying lots of new things. I love that, Tracy. Um, thank you, Carol. Carol said that I'll make it amazing. Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. So let's pick. Like, it could be something maybe like that, right? I could do that polka dot, which kind of could be fun on here. I could do like two dots, right? I could use that and this, and then something linear. Or you know what I wanted to use? Just a second, let me find it. And we'll decide from that one. It is one of my exclusives, if it's here. Where did I put everything? Oh, I didn't pick up the whole stack. I'm like, why isn't it here? Because half of it was still sitting here. I wanted to use this. One of you used this this week. Oh no, the one I want to use, of course, is not in my pile. I don't know where I put it, but I want it. Oh, here it is. I want to use this. This is going to be one of the ones that I want to use. And what I think could be fun is we could mask and then I could do um, different colors, like kind of rainbow on here. So I want to use this 
And then um, the little dot I can use. I don't even know if I'll use three now. We'll see. I'm going to start with this one. I don't have to make all my plans just yet, right? But I want to start with this one. And what I was saying is I have lots of scraps here from what we cut that I could use or make a new one as a mask. So I can pick, right? I could mask just one row and that's how I could apply color. But I like that these are brush strokes, right? The whole idea that this is a brush stroke, brush stroke. So I think it would be fun to mask it and do a row where I could do different colors. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna pick the row I wanna use and I'm gonna do a mask. So let's cut two pieces and then decide what we're gonna mask and what we're gonna use. Okay, maybe that one. So you can do this with any stencil. If you say you want to apply, but control where the color is gonna go, you totally can take your stencil and um, mask it so that you can be very selective where you're going to add your pigment. So I'm going to go, I gotta find a row that's gonna be easy. Okay, that one is easy on the bottom. How is it on the top? Yeah, that can work, maybe. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of something something here. So I need to do like this. Right, so it will fit in there like that. Perfect. If you're doing your crop and create homework, love it. Yep, when you are in card classes, there's definitely a lot of homework between the stenciling and stamping, isn't there? Did you have lots of homework in your class, Mari? You have to do it because I did. I taught at one of them and it is a lot, a lot, a lot of work because you're making multiple cards. And if you're using stencils and stamps and dies, you have to prep all of that. Where did I put that little piece? Did you guys see what it was in my hand? What did Vicky do with it? because I want to mask this side too. So I can very much control where I'm putting my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do like this. So thank you for some of you guys, if you're playing along with me tonight, I love it. Who's playing along? A lot of you I know decide after you watch if it's something you wanna do or not. So I am going to go right off the top and I'm gonna start right the corner like this and we're going to decide um, what colors we're going to put down. So I'm going to tack this just so it doesn't move. Okay. And we have this selection of color. So we can go in. What might be a good idea is to go in and do just one color with this technique or you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the pink and the um, so peach sour and watermelon sour. And I'm gonna use my stencil brush. You can use, if you have it, a, um, uh, it's been forever, I'm out of practice. Hello, Anita. Um, just watching and admiring your creativity. Oh, lots are playing and some are just hanging out. I love it. So I'm gonna go in here, right? And I'm gonna add this pigment so you're gonna be able to see it on the white and on the black. And I'm gonna do a couple of rows here and maybe a couple over here. And that will be my first layer. And then I'm gonna go in with the next stencil and a different color and we're gonna layer some color on top, okay? Ah, I forgot a palette knife, let me grab that. And I'm gonna go in with the orange first and then I'm gonna layer pink on top. I'm not even gonna clean my stencil brush between. So I'm gonna just put it right on my craft mat. Little to start, we can always add, but we don't want it to dry out while we're working, right? Oops. So I'm gonna go in here 
And with my stencil brush, I don't want tons of paint on here, just a little bit. If you're not too sure, put it on a scrap, like just test it first, right? So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna layer some of this first color. And then I'm gonna go in with some of the pink right on top. So for this first one, because I'm gonna be doing a couple, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this orange on here, which is peach sour, like the sour candies, right? Oops, watch, it doesn't, mine just moved. So just careful, careful. Okay, and you can always too, have your Mr. Handy, and if your brush is feeling like it's getting a little stuck, just put a little bit of water in it. You can pounce it on there if you're not exactly happy with how your pigment's going on. And what I'm going to go in now and just put a little bit of pink near the bottom of that. Okay, I can leave my orange on here because I'm going to be putting orange and pink all the way down. Oh, that's very exciting. Stamping um, envelopes for Tracy, stamping envelopes for her daughter's bridal shower. How exciting is that? So I'm going to put some of that pink on there. So that was kind of what my um, influence here was. I wanted to kind of have graffiti look. I'm going to give it a mist. Let's try with a little bit of water. Even though my mister is almost completely empty. All right, and now I'm gonna just add a little bit of pink right up into that. Oops, don't do that, don't do what Vicky just did. I moved my whole stencil right up into that. And then I'm going to lift this. We're gonna take a look at what we have. And then you could always build, because this is like paint, right? So it's way thicker than ink. So you may have to come in and build your layers. Oh my goodness, do you see that? It's gonna be fun. So now I'm gonna move this in. I want this next line to come in and then I can fill it in. Does that make sense? Oh, I'm gonna turn it. No, I'm gonna do this way, but I'm gonna have to mask the other side. So I'm gonna take this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna line it up. And I'm only gonna put some of them in here. I don't actually even have to mask. I'll just move it over. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange, but it is going to be mostly pink this time. But look at, I just made a brand new color. Oh my goodness. Look at what just happened with the pink and the, um, the, uh, sorry, I'm so excited. I can't even speak with the, Peach sour and watermelon sour. I just made this really pretty neon -y peachy color. Oh, I love it. So now I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to go in just with the pink. I'm making a little bit of a mess. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, and now I'm going to go right off the page here. I'm going to clean my brush a little bit because I want this to be just bright pink now. But that color, oh, it's everything. So let's take a paper towel. Yes, ruby grapefruit. I love it, right? That's why I'm like, don't poo-poo the neon. They do some kind of magical things, I'm telling you. Some kind of magical things. So all I did is sprayed a little water on my brush, my paper towel. I don't have to do it off screen. Okay, just getting that pigment off. And now I'm going in just with pink. Just with the watermelon sour. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, this color. So you just gotta layer it a little bit on the black, okay? And I'm using stencil brush and not a palette knife because you totally could go in here and add texture, but you know we for drying time, that's why it would take too long to dry, right? So I love that. That's going to be my layer for up here. And now I'm going to do some in this bottom corner. Okay. And I'm going to start with the pink. And I'm going to go right off the top. Oh, need more. You could miss it because you can reactivate it. So if you want to mist it with some water, you totally could. How are we doing? Where can I find the neon colors to purchase? I think I have them on vickybooten.com on sale. I think they're up there. And if not, I will check that when we're done and I will post some because I have a whole case of them. And then I have linked them. If you don't want to order through me and you want to order through scrapbook.com or a cherry on top, I have linked them in the description of this video with my share sale links, which costs you nothing but certainly help me for all of this um, content that I provide, right? Every Friday night. So, oh, I love it. I'm going to go way more pink on this one because I'm really digging that. And then I will do a little bit of that pink and the pink and the um, orange that gave us that really awesome bright orange color. Okay, so now just hints on the edge. I want a little bit more of that. Yeah, I will be restocking the whole, a lot of you guys have been asked, oops, for the um, cool art crayons. So my order just arrived. I just have to inventory it. I have to clean up my works. Oh, I was going to do this, wasn't I? Stop talking, Vicki. You're losing your concentration. Um, was trying to get them inventoried and clean up and do all of the things. So it's taken a little bit of time, but it will be worth it when I get it posted. Do these colors mix well with white to make them opaque? Or will they lose their vi vibrancy? You can, but it'll make it more pastelish. Um, but you, you can get it to go on completely opaque. You just would have to add more. I'm just putting it on with a stencil brush, right? Like if I took it right now with a palette knife, it would be completely opaque. Or if I wanted it to be opaque, I would just, once this paint dries, layer another layer. I'll show you. I'll do one down on the black. Um, so you can see what I'm saying because they, um, with paint, you know, to get paint to be opaque when you're using a stencil brush you need to come in and layer it because it will lift itself off when you are doing um, paint in layers. You have to build it up in layers. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Right. Oh, I love it. Let's do one more. I'm going to clean my brush a little. So it's just the orange color. Actually, I just added that water. Let's just pick up whatever I can pick up. And we'll just use that. And put a layer of this on top. I'm just pouncing it because um, then I'm not going to lift off what I just added. Okay. If I rub, when the paint is wet, if you rub it, you're going to lift all your pigment off. So if I just pounce it on, oh, I love it. And it's kind of have a stippled effect, right? There we go. All right. Very fun. Two tone with that. And that's what I was saying. If you want these to be more opaque, you would position your stencil again. And you would, let me just figure out which ones I was on there. Okay. 
because these should be dry now. If I put some pink on here, clean my palette knife off and put some pink. You will get the opacity that you are possibly looking for is just by oop, too much orange on here. I don't want to lose the brightness of my pink. Just a second. Foundations paper will be in stock. One, I ordered cases of it. Will be in stock this week. So if you're on my newsletter, I will send out a newsletter that tells you when the stores, the new restock is going to go live. And I have tons of stuff. I have tons of stuff to add. So it will all be in there. There's stencils. There are um, gel plates. So if you want to grab one before I announce the information for the next gel plate class, I ordered uh, 12 by 12s too. So if you guys have been wanting a different size, I ordered just a couple. I don't know what the interest would be. Um, and then the 8 by 10s so they will be stocked as well there we go see so now you start to get your opacity because i'm not lifting the paint off when it's wet on wet right okay so let's clean this up and go to our next color and our different stencil any questions as we're going along but i love it i love it So just give it a little clean. I might have to fill my mister. I should have done that. There we go. Normally we wouldn't waste this. We could put that through something, but for time's sake tonight. And then we have to decide what color we want on the card. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with blue and I'm going to put blue on my card. Thank you, Mari. So we put our lids on our mediums so they don't dry out. Although this is the same set that I've had and they are perfectly fine. There we go. And just for our stencil, give that a little um, mist too. It's just easier to clean everything when it is wet. And then I can kind of clean my stencil brush at the same time, just by using that, adding the pressure on there. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect, but get some of that off. There we go. Okay. So it's not perfectly clean, but now it doesn't. Oh, I have big gunks of paper. Oh my goodness. Look at these paper towels are art. I can't not do it. Have you noticed? Like, I'm like, oh, look, and I could just leave it like that. I can't. I have to clean my stuff. Good. Almost. Are you laughing? Don't laugh at me, right? Because I keep going, good. Okay, we can move on. Okay, no, I can't yet. <laughs> so here, question. Hi, Josie. Josie? Jose? Do you put the press and seal on them? I don't. I don't, but I know that um, they'll last longer if you do. Right? They'll last longer if you do. So I don't, but you could. Have fun, Vibu crew. See you later, Glenda. All right. So I have my masks if I need them for the next stencil. Don't think I will. because so I'm going to go in now with the blue. With um, So I don't know. I might only want some blue on here now. What do you guys think? Like, I don't think I need the purple and the green. I might just go in with blue with the polka dot right? 
So I could just loosely go in now and add some polka dots in the blue because I think the contrast will be nice with that. So I think I'm just going to use the blue. So it is the blueberry sour because you have your options of you could go in with purple. Let's look at what our palette is. And this is very, this palette's very soft comparatively, but the colors in here are the orange. Yeah, I'm just going in with the blue. I just made the executive decision. Um, although I think we're going to get crazy and I'm going to put green and blue down to make it teal because I like it and it goes a little bit better. Look at, so I'm going to put green and blue down to make a kind of a little bit of a tealy color. So let's do that. A little bit of green, clean your brush, a little bit of blue. But I need another color on here, Carol, because I'm going to go on top. I want another layer, right? So I'm going to make tealy. That little ephemera pack is freaking amazing, Natalie. Yeah, I love it. So with this collection, they came out with this whole title pack, and it is the bomb. So that's why I thought we'd use this tonight because they were very generous at Pink Fresh and sent me a whole bunch of stuff to play with um, in addition to what I needed to make the card with my friend Jeff. And uh, I gave it away <laughs> ahead of time. Sorry. Sorry, Canari. I did. I, I, I was showing everybody it. And then Natalie's like, Vicky, it's not out yet. And I'm like, oh, crap. And that's why I took it down. I did that all by myself without any help. I ruined the surprise, but only some of you saw it. So I got it down pretty quick. So I want to layer this on top, not all over it. Okay. And what's nice with a stencil like this is I can pick and choose where I'm going to apply it. So let's see what happens though, when we add some of the blue and some of the teal or some of the green to make a teal. So I'm just going to go in now and layer some little blue dots on top of what we have. So let's start just with blue up in this corner. And you notice I went in with a lighter, the lighter colors, and then the blue is a little bit deeper. Okay, let's take a peek. Oh, I love it. Do you see those little blue dots? And now I'm going to carry that all down into here. And I'm going to put some blue and some of the green in here. I'm going to mist a little bit too, just so it blends. Okay. And I want some to go into my white as well. So I'm going to lay that first layer of blue and then I'm going to go over top of it with the green. And let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, this color is going to be magic. This um, stencil is almost impossible to reposition because the dots are so small. So just make sure you get the amount of pigment you want down before you lift. Oh, I love it. So it made like this bright greeny color. And then let's go and apply some more. Right over in here. Put some more blue down. Where are you? So Julie says this should be added to my paper pack, but here's the other fun thing. You guys can make it with me, right? So um, there are some really fun things coming out. Like I said, with the fall release, I think you guys will be excited about. I'm going to blend that. Let's make that very teal. Put a little bit more blue down because that green is powerful. A little mist. I'm spraying it all over my floor. I'm going to pounce and blend. Pounce and blend. Oh, there. Now we have a teal. Love it. Get some of that in here.
Oh, so pretty. pretty a little bit in this corner and I'm going to go in with one more stencil with the blue again but something linear just a little bit because now this is like very tealish so I like that see but before we're done let's do this on my card okay I want to add some of this just a little bit, maybe just in a little bit like that. Cause why waste it, right? It's here, might as well use it. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? And for our slim line, we're gonna add some of that here too. All you gotta do is mist your brush when you don't have any pigment coming off because there's lots of that paint on here. Pick up a little bit of that green and put some of that there too. There. Why waste it, right? Maybe a little up here. There. So those are for my cards for after. Now, quick mist. I love the dots too. It's just, look at, if you were just going to add, so Mari is a huge card maker. Karen is out here. Lots of you guys are big card makers. So here's what I'd have to say. So maybe mixed media, not you guys, but mixed media might, might not be totally in your wheelhouse. But what I love is if you love, look at that. If you love stamping, love to stamp, die cut, then that background with just using like a little dot stencil, cleaning your stuff onto a background is perfect for um, like when you want to layer some dragonflies or butterflies or flowers on here. That background is very fun and subtle to layer your art on, which you're going to see as we go. That color, man, freaking everything. So I'm going to go in, I decided with some blue in one more stencil. I just have to decide which one that's gonna be. And I feel like it needs to be a little bit of a linear aspect because I want one more layer of art on there. That's why. If you're like, why do you feel like you need one more stencil? Is I just feel like I need one more layer to quiet down all that noise. So let's do it. You could stamp, you could stamp on there too. You could stamp white. Oh, I just had an idea. Let's try this instead. So instead of another pigment, I'm going to grab one of my script stencils because you know I flipped the script and I'm going to stamp white. Are you ready for that? White on top. Should I heat emboss it? Would you guys be okay with that? Don't you think that would be fun? I think bringing white back on top will be awesome. I think that will be awesome. Script stamp, right? with white. So I'm going to, I want to try it. I have some really fun white ink from a scrapbook.com. I just don't know if it's going to be opaque enough. Let's try it. And then we don't have to heat emboss. So let's just see, let's see if it'll work. Okay. So I'm going to go in with a script stamp and I'm going to, I want to stamp white right back in here. And I have this ink pad from scrapbook.com let's see if i think it's gonna work i think it's gonna work so let's grab a script stamp boop, boop. i have a lovely one from hero arts let's use it okay here's a question Here's a question. Do we want a script stamp or do you want me to come in with something bold on top? Script might be, let's just do the script stamp. I could dip the stamp in paint, but I don't know if I want it to be that messy, Karen. Like I want this to be something that's going to actually clean it up a bit. So I am going to stamp 
on this side. So I don't want to stamp a full square. So watch what we're going to do. We're just going to break that up like that. Let's see. Let's just go for it, right? Let me try it first. And if it works, that's awesome. If it doesn't, don't do it. <laughs> and I'm just going to rub that down. I think it's going to be good. <gasps> My goodness, I love it so much. So I'm not going to re-ink this. Where am I going to stamp next? Right down here. But just part. <gasps> My goodness, do you see what just happened there? So by bringing the white back up to the top kind of cleans it up a little bit, right? And I'm going to do one more thing just because it's what Vicky does. This freaking white is going to be so awesome on top of our graffiti. Our graffiti just stuff up there. So I want to show you something though. Because I, I want to make sure I don't have a line here. I'm going to take my... Um, paper towel and I'm breaking that up just so some of it is longer some is shorter let's see will it work and I'm going to stamp right in this corner in all of that pink business up here oh I love it so much I love that so much so guess what's going to happen I'm going to go and find one more stamp that I can put like something bolder, like a polka dot. I feel like I need a dot, some white dots in here. So I'm going to do that. But first, we're going to finish this side. So let's ink that. Break some of that up so it's not just a straight line of stamping. Okay. And let's go into our layer here. A little bit down here, not much, just a little. Oh, I love it. Have I said that once or twice? I love it. I'm not even going to ink it again. I'm just going to rub some down. Maybe a little bit more. There. Love it. This ink is awesome. I'll link this as well. Um, they sent this to me and it's, I just use it for the first time this week. And I'm like, this freaking ink is the bomb. You know how hard it is to find a good white ink. Very good scrapbook.com. Very good. Okay. Let's wipe it. And you'll see what I'm saying because now it's going all over the place. I just need something else that I'm going to ink in white and just break that up a little bit, just a little bit. But I'm really loving this. Like it's that, this is very fun. That a layer of the white on here. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's go find something. So it could be hearts, it could be circles, right? Hearts, circles. And look, this cleans up really nice too. My mister is like almost no water left. See? And it cleans right up out of your stamp. So um, if you ever stamp chamois or any of that stuff, but Vicky has them, I just don't know where it is right now. We can give that a better clean, but it will clean up really nice. Okay. Okay. Vicky's going into her stamp stash because this is how Friday nights work. And let's decide what we're going to add. It needs to be pretty plain and pretty solid. So let's see what Mr. Holtz has. Or so I'm just looking through my stuff. I need a circle is what I want. Just a circle stamp. Can Vicky find one? I, I must have a circle stamp in my stash just looking through so if you are playing along at home find a solid circle stamp i am looking through my seven million stamp sets there's got to be one freaking circle it is my favorite thing so you would think it's in here somewhere a circle. Oh, Vicky 
See, this is what happens when you're just creating along and then you get these ideas in your head. Because normally I would have planned for this, right? And I would have it out and ready for us to use, but I didn't know. You don't know until you know. You ooh. So this is an old set of stamps. I don't know if this is old, but I'm going to use this. This is an old Prima set, but look at those are going to be perfect. Your circle set. I just don't know where it is, Anita. Like, I wasn't planning this, right? But, oh, my goodness. Tell me that's not going to be perfect. So, I'm going to use, let's see. Don't you think, like, a little white paint splot? I think it's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect or it's going to look like poo-poo. We'll decide in a minute here. So, it's a cling set. I'm telling you, Cheryl, I have 50 million circle sets. I just, because I need it quick while you guys are sitting here waiting for me, right? I wasn't prepared for that because that was something that came after. I can't wait. Okay. I think right here. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. So don't go crazy with this, okay? And I'm going to go in with a smaller one. Oh, seriously, I love it. So where, I want this to kind of go in the, so it looks like the white in the middle is bleeding into the black. <gasps> I like it. I'm very happy with that, right? A good splat stamp. So you could do this with paint if you don't have a, the stamp, right? Um, let's put one of them over the pink and then we can't keep using the same stamp. So what I'll do is grab, um, a different one off the set, right? It's so fun. I love it. This is like totally you guys who follow me, right? This is totally different thing we're doing tonight. And that's why crafting is so fun and not only sticking with what you're comfortable with. Because how the heck do you know if you're going to like something if you don't give it a try? How the heck? You're not going to know. If you only say, oh, I only use blue. I, I only like to scrapbook with blue. Or if I'm painting... Um, this is the only thing that I like to do. It's only watercolor. I don't like acrylic. Then you will never know um, what you're missing. So I just say don't put limitations on your creativity. I am very happy with that. And I think now it's time to stop. Now it's time to stop. Step away from the mixed media. Oh, but we have to put something on our cards, okay? It is like art journaling, right? Because we do these things, but I don't tend to, I tend to stick to the scrapbooking stuff because it's what a lot of you guys that come here, this is what you like to do, right? So I'm happy with that. Do you see the black though? Oh my goodness. And if you didn't like the crisscross, just do one square in it. You don't have to do this. What kind of ink is this? It is scrapbook.com white premium pigment ink. So if you're going to scrap shop at scrapbook.com, I haven't linked this one yet because I had no intention of using it, but just follow one of my share a sale links because it costs you nothing, but it certainly helps me when I do these Friday night lives, right? So, um, that are all often hours long because Vicky's crazy. So let's decide what we're going to add quickly. I need to do at least a little bit of neon on here. So let's pick a quick stencil. And I'm going to go in with the pink again. I think I'm going to go in with the pink. So let's just pick. Oh, I found it. I'm going to go in with this. No, not that one. Um, my chair. Did you hear the noise that it just made? At some point, it's just going to break and I'm going to fall off of it. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I have to tighten the screws in it. And I haven't done that. So, oh, okay. See, changing, I'm putting the pink on that side. 
So for this one, this is what I'm using. This is one of my stencils. So it's one of my exclusive stencils and you can only get it on vickybooten.com. Let's make sure that blue is actually just a stain because if it's not, I don't want that on my card. So I just want to wipe that quick. We're going to add a little bit and then we're going to start making the actual project. Okay. Love it. So I'm going to do two things right now. I'm going to put pink on. Hi, Erica. How are you? So I'm going to put the stencil on here and we're going to put some pink into this because I'm loving it. Uh, and that's the watermelon. And then we're going to make, we're going to make something. So let's go in with a little bit. Oh, that color is delicious. And I think this is clean. We'll see in a minute. I'm going to add a little mist just because it's a thicker paint, right? And then this will um, go on a little thinner and I'm going to go come off this corner and add on here. I want it to be bright on the corner and then soften out and then go into my black on the top and soften out with some water. So heavy at the top, thinner at the bottom. And I'm going to stop because I'm loving what's happening here. It's really soft, but this um, stencil, the style of it, do you see? <gasps> Look how fun that is. I love that. I'm going to leave that. And I like it so much. But I'm going to come off the side like this, using that as a... Oh, I love it. Okay. So I don't want it to go in to the other side. So I'm going to mask that like there. Okay. Pick this up. Put a little bit of water on your brush because it makes it move a little smoother. Come off your craft mat and then into the card. So you get this kind of darker edge over the black and this softness here. And it is another mask. It's masked where the stencil ends on this side. And it almost looks like a neon sign with the words, right? Or the fake words. They're not really words. They're just my scribbles. Oh, I love it. Okay. One more thing because I'm Vicky and it's what I need to do. I'm going to throw this in the sink so I don't have to bother you guys with cleaning this stuff. Okay. So it's coming. Oh my goodness. Look at that freaking awesomeness. That's why if you put scrap paper underneath, that would be beautiful. Can we pick it up? Watch. Let's see. Can we re work that and have a little scrap of foundations paper? Put it down. Let's brayer because we want pressure. I don't know if it'll pick up. It might not. It might be too late. I might have put too much water down, but we know that it's okay. Let's try it. If we let it sit for a second, it will soak into the um, paper. And let's see, did we get any of it? Oh, a little bit. Freaking look at that. Oh, I love it. I'm going to try again because we can. I have no water in my bottle here, which might be a good thing. Okay. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do this, add some pressure. I 
need to fill my water bottle. I know, but we're done. We're done now. I'm going to take the whole mat off. Do you see what else is happening? Do you see that? Me cleaning my grayer. Look at that black edge. Oh, I love it. That makes me super happy that the, the little, oh, look. So now when you're going to mat a photo, you can make your own little pattern paper. I'm totally digging that. So you see, I'm going to use it somewhere at some point. The other thing that could happen, let's find one more sheet of something to throw this on. Here's a little square of foundations paper. So we could also see if we can steal any off of what's left over on the stencil. Okay. I have no water in my, I could, might as well just spit on it because there's no water left. Oh, and if some of the black transferred off of my brayer, it would be like magic was happening. So rather than just go and wipe this all on a paper towel, this is Vicki just kind of spitting on it because <laughs> there's no art left in, or no water left in there. Let's see. What do we get? Oh, I love it. Do you see that? Very pretty. You can use it for something. You could punch some hearts out of it, whatever. Okay. So we're done with the mess stuff. Clean. Oh, oh, remember I said I wanted to try one more thing. Let's see. One more thing. I promise. You're like, Vicky's one more thing is 12 more things. She is lying. Okay, quick clean up, just quick, because I can't just leave it, even though I said I'm going to, I am lying. And all my paper towels are now used up and messy. Okay, I want to put that white stamp on and see what that's gonna look like, if I can find it. Because now I'm throwing crap everywhere. Where did I put the stencil or the words stamp? Oh, Vicki, you're such a hot mess. Oh, I moved it, didn't I? I can't help it. This part is my favorite. The actual discovery through the mixed media art is the best. So I'm telling you guys, don't put limitations on your creativity. It is absolutely magical, the things that you can do if you just allow yourself to play and have fun. Because like I said, it's a piece of paper. If it doesn't turn out exactly how you had planned, grab another one and start again. So I just want a little bit of that script on here because I really am digging it. So I'm going to put it kind of at the top over the pink. Oh, let's see. Is it going to be awesome? I don't know. We'll try it. So see how I just kind of stamped that going down? And now I'm going to place it like that and hope for the best. Hi, Carissa. How are you? I love the pink, right? Oh, my goodness. See? Very subtle in there. I'm going to carry it down a little bit on the bottom. Oh, my goodness. This background is the best thing I've made in a long time best thing I've made in a long time. I'm telling you, I go and we make layouts and we make cards, but I'm not lying when I say just sitting and making these backgrounds. I don't even care if I ever made anything else other than that. It just brings me so much joy. You just don't even know. My heart could explode with how much I love this right now. And I don't even know if you can see that. But oh my goodness, so when you were like, I don't know if I like the neon, it does not look like, um, you know what I mean? Like we're wearing our, I'm putting it on here too. You just put that script on everything. It's like um, Frank's hot sauce, right? Just put that poop on everything. I should have re-inked it, but I didn't. But I'll take just those hints. <gasps> I love it. Okay, I'm done with the mixed media now for reals. I, I promise. <laughs> The card is going to be so pretty and we're going to make one tonight. Okay, I'm just taking my mess out of the way. 
Get your stuff ready. It's scrapbook time. So if you were mixed mediating with me and you want to actually make a card or a layout or both, that's what we're doing now. We're doing it. And Irene, I'm not throwing this paper towel away. Irene, look, look at this. Can't throw that away. Oh my goodness, like look at that. That is just so pretty. Can't throw that away, Irene. We can decoupage with that. I need to buy the paper towels that have no um, no uh, pattern on it. I need to do that. I just don't know if we have them in Canada like they do in the U.S. of A. Who's the script from? It is a Hero Arts. I'll link it when I'm done, okay? I'll put it. So where are you watching, uh, Lisa, uh, on, on uh, Facebook? No, you're on YouTube. Um, I will link it as soon as I'm done, okay? So it will be in the description of the video. And I'll put it on Facebook too, so if anybody wants to know. Okay. Yes, my friend Libby from Hero Arts sent me that because she knew I was using another script stamp that I think they actually still sell. It is woodblock one. Okay, clean. Look, clean, done. That's all I did. That's how I clean my brush. It's ready to go for the next um, um, magic making session. <laughs> So get your stuff, Oop, throw that over there. I will link all of the things when I'm done because I know some of you guys will be watching after the fact, you're not watching live. Um, hi, and I will make sure that I have all of the stuff linked so you can find it. And now we're gonna see if Vicki made so much craziness on here that the paper is still gonna look nice. I think it will, but let's do the things. I'm very excited to use this new collection from Pink Fresh. I'll throw some water in the sink. Okay, I'm coming right back. So get your papers ready. Clean up your mess if you're playing along. And now we will make a finished project. So it's not just a background. We'll make something out of it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm all cleaned up and everything is right beside me, ready to go. So the wait was only a second. Let's do the things. Let's do the things. Hi, Stella. How are you? Um, yes, I'll link anything. Is there anything? How about the splat stamp? I'll link it, but you probably, Sally, will have a hard time finding that one. It's old. I should probably make one of those, shouldn't I? We should make something that is like a whole bunch of just like stuff to mark your backgrounds. So this, look at this on here is going to be so much fun. So that is going to be the base of my card. We'll set it aside. Oh, look at, I just dripped pink on here, but I actually kind of dig it. I'll just pick that up a little bit. So this is the base of my page. I'm going to trim the bottom off just because the perforation marks are still there. And we're going to make a layout. So yeah, anything else that you want to know, I will link everything. And if I can find it, I'll go and search. If I can find it somewhere, I will. But yes, I think it would be great to make a stamp set that has um, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Paint splats and brush marks. So that I'm going to add to my list because I think that that would be a good one especially if you can't find that one anymore, right? If it's it's done. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. So I have this new collection from, got to throw all my garbage around. So I have my workspace here now because now we're putting our um, paper crafting hat on. And I have some little bowls so we can open our bits. So Natalie and I were talking earlier about this. This is everything. So this is brand new from Pink Fresh. It's Happy Heart. Look at this set. Oh my goodness, right? Those uh, background stencils sound good. Well, and the ones that I used are Vicki Booten. You can find them on my website. But let's take a look. 
like, oh my goodness. Like you, we could use words all over this and could be kind of like graffiti, right? <gasps> oh, I love it. And then for the card, I want something that's going to go up and down so we can decide what that's going to be. But look how awesome these are. All these titles. So how many pieces are in that? 35 titles. Do you see that? Can you see that? So this is from the Happy Heart Collection. I have linked it in my um, description of the video. Shine. Oh, I love that on there. I'm going to pop that there for a minute. Because that I love on my card. And then we can decide what else. But yes, these for sure are going on this layout. I love it. And we have a set of ephemera I can use. There's butterflies and a whole bunch of other magic going on on there. And there's a full set of floral. And I can decide if I want to use any of those. The other thing that I pulled out because I thought it would be fun is look at these. These are chipboard frames. Aren't they pretty? So I think already I probably might use that circular blue one or this turquoise. We'll decide. Oh, I could put one on my card too. Love it. It's coming together. Oh, and the giveaway. This is what I'm giving away, friends. So I am going to put this up on, to, I'll put it up tonight or tomorrow on the Vicki Booten Creative Community page on Facebook. This giveaway with a $25 gift card to my website. So to my shop. So you could buy these if you want them with that, whatever you want to do. Um, but look at, I had extras, so I am going to give this away on my group page. So that's what is going in the giveaway because I can fit it all into envelope easily. So I have stickers that I can use tonight. Oh my goodness. Do you see the magic that's going to happen? And look at these gold. So let's do the things. Let's do it. Let's do it. These are the papers that I pulled and we'll decide if I'm using them or not. I know this one I want on here for sure. Look at this little stripe. Isn't that going to be perfect? And then I picked this black and white because I thought that is a great kind of contrast. And then we need something else to layer. Oh, the yellow might work. I have the yellow and I'll go in. I have my six by six paper pad. Is this piece of paper not freaking awesome? I don't even want to use it because I love it so much. Um, yeah, the line is beautiful. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, I was so excited. I told everybody about it before it was even released because it's what Vicky does. And then had to take it down because Natalie's like, Vicky, that doesn't come out yet. And I'm like, oh, crap. Vicky broke the rules. Oh, this would be pretty on here because it matches my turquoise. So I'm going to grab that out of here for my layers. So this paper is um, not as vibrant as the colors that I've used, but we can make it work, right? We can make the things work. So I think, right, look at, these can work on here. Totally will tie that in. I love this. So we can just decide. I think, what do you guys think? I think just literally like funky little mat like that, like just literally layering these people pieces. And I might then switch out the photo I was going to use. So I might make these a little smaller and then we'll decide, but I'm, I'm digging that just throwing it on the page. Totally digging that. Right. And then maybe the stripe or the floral kind of like that. And then these were my photos. So I could leave it just like a stack like that. I, I'm going to put a different photo on here though. So tonight is a night I don't have a photo printed because now I'm flipping the script. And I will find something, but I really feel like it's going to be a black and white. You're not digging the yellow paper? Yeah, don't use it then, right? The only reason I'm using it is it ties in here and it's going to tie in with the um, ephemera because the colors are not exactly perfect. So, uh, it, yeah, use whatever you want, but I don't like, these are neons, right? Even this is a little muted. 
So I love the yellow actually is my favorite out of these. So use whatever makes you happy. But do you see what I'm saying? If I go in here and cut this one a little smaller. So I'm going to cut this just like a little bit of a rectangle. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just going to put it on there. Like that. Because this underneath looks like crisscross papers, I think it will be fun to kind of crisscross what I'm putting my photo on, right? And then what do you think about bringing the white back? Well, let's look at some embellishments first and then we'll decide. And then we'll decide. What can we use? Mm -hmm. Did somebody, did somebody break your heart? I do think this will be fun. That will decide, but I do like that. I'm going to pop it and I'm going to layer a couple of these mats. once I find where I put my scissors. Do, do, where are you? There's another pair. Thanks, Serenity. She was saying, please remember to thumbs up and like the video. And if you haven't already, because she knows I never remind anybody to do that until I see Serenity ask, um, to subscribe if you haven't. I go live every Friday at 8 p.m. unless I change that, but um, for the most part is every Friday at 8 p.m. So I would love if you could come and hang out with us. So I'm going, I know I'm gonna put this there. And do I wanna layer two? I don't know, maybe. And then decide, cause I don't know now if I want that green on here. Cause it's a lot of pattern going on. If we pull it in with the white, I kind of like that. I'm digging that a little bit more than that turquoise I just cut. Not measuring, just cutting. Let's see if we like this better. This was really my inspiration paper. So what do you guys think? Do you think that softens it a little bit? Right? I kind of like that better. I'm going to cut a little bit of it off. Like I'm not going to use this photo just because I think that the colors don't go as well. So let's look with a little black mat on here for our photo. Because I think it would be good. I'm going to cut it out as a four by six. Because if I put my photo on here, I'm going to put four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Okay. My trimmer blade is not super sharp. So do you see? And then what will happen with a white picture, this will help me be able to determine what I'm putting on this page. Where is the white? piece of cardstock I just had here because I need to cut a four by six mat to rest my eye. I'm going to grab a piece. 
Travel peace. Savage love. Did somebody, did somebody break your home? Here we go. If you can't find it, you grab another one. Yeah, I'll just print a different photo. Because now, you know what color I, I want? Something bright orange. So we'll find something. But if we can fake it for right now, that will be fun, right? See, so I don't want all that black, but I think that little bit of black will be fun because this is very busy. But I'm digging it. So not as much yellow showing because I know some of you didn't like the yellow. Like that. And then let's put some little bits in here. Do, do, do. Did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Ooh, happy. I like that. Happy. Happy springtime. And then I could just find some uh, pictures because I have some pictures with flowers that might work really well. Let's look. Maybe that will work. Um, happy sunshine. Find something like that, right? So we have these options. Happy springtime, happy sunshine. You're getting a storm in central Florida. Oh my goodness, right? I bet you get some killer thunderstorms when the hot and cold meet, right? The colors in this are not as vibrant as what is on my background, but we will try to make it work. If not, we could just always use this on a different background, but we'll decide. You know, Vicky and her butterflies. And then what kind of labels do we have to pop up out of the top? See, I'm going to have to tie, which I, the blue is here, right? It's here. There's a little bit here, but I might end up coming back in and just tying up that blue a little bit. Look at, you said to take the yellow away and I was like, no, but I think I'm agreeing with you. That's better, don't you think? Or not at all. Don't mess with all the color that's going on. Just do that, maybe. What do you guys think? I think I'm liking that. And then just have to decide what our titles are and if we're going to put the butterflies on there. But I do already like that better. You want the black and white flower? Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, maybe, right? Put that behind there. I don't know. I think if there's a lot going on. I think it's better, the subtler. You know what I'm going to look for, too, is a piece of cardstock to go with this pattern paper. Like, I feel like I need to pull one of these colors in with just a solid cardstock. So I will do that. It doesn't have to be right now. I will find it. But I, I feel like that's what it needs. 
because it's just a little bit more subtle, right? Hi, Leanne. How are you, my friend? Oh, I know that's going to go on here somehow. And I'm going to pop this up. Because there's a lot of business going on on this. So I don't feel like we need to have a ton of pattern paper, but I think a solid would be very good on this to tie some of that in. And then it's all, it's going to all be about the photo too. Right. When I decide what one that's going to be. And it might be black and white, might be magic on here too, right? So hello. And our little frame. Everything is sticking in. Yeah, I see what you guys are saying, right? You want me to mimic all of the Polaroid and do frames. So if I... Um, we could do two, watch. Two Polaroids. Right? with the black. So I'm going to do them as if they're three by four Polaroids because I like that idea. There is a lot of viewers choice is working tonight. So I'm going to take this and do it like this and cut it in half. So I don't think they were both exactly. Watch. Um, my trimmer blade is not very sharp. So, ah, see what you said? What size is this? What size is this? A two and a half. Let's cut it to a two and a half. Oh, let's make them a rectangle. My trimmer blade is very dull. So it is fraying my paper, but we will see. Two and a half. We're going to make them like long and narrow. So let's see what size that is. Two and a half by three and a quarter. Let's look. And I will find a new trimmer blade later. But look, if we make them, like you said, like little Polaroids, kind of dig that, but we're going to have to, we need a bold paper there. We need a bold paper. Just cleaning it up because the tape trimmer is a blade is dull. I have to trim that one down a little bit, but right, that will be fun. But we need like the reason I had the yellow. Cause I need something bolder. Like I can't even do it. Vicky's having, Vicky's struggling. Vicky is struggling. <laughs> is Angie here? Hi, Angie. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it's because I decided I wanted to use this collection. Right. But I really do feel like, um, it's very um, pretty and pastel. And then I have this like freaking crazy color going on in the background. So we'll see. We're going to see if I can make it work. I just don't know if I'm going to be using the pattern paper. 
but I do like the Polaroid idea. I think Carol, you said that right out of the gate. And how have you been, my friend, Carol um, Ray, Carol Scott Ray, Ray Scott? I'm not sure what how those ones work. It must be Carol Ray Scott, right? I haven't seen you for a while, but I do like, see, look at, I don't know. Do you think it needs pattern paper in the background? I don't know if it needs it. I think that we could just layer embellishment. So I think that might be what's going to change here. Because I am just kind of digging that and then just put all the pretty embellishments on. Right? I'm kind of digging that quietness of that with some really amazing flowers or flowers, photos. Right? Like that. And then some good title work and embellishments. use the yellow so I just cut this six by six and a half I'm gonna flag banner the bottom of it and see if my idea is gonna work so I can just get a punch of the color so it's not a ton of it going on but then I can tie my embellishments in because the yellow will work with that. I don't mind this. I know the yellow's too dull, but now we're all talking. I know now you're like, everybody's got a suggestion and I love it. Keep it coming. But the only thing I'm thinking is I need some of the color to tie it in. I, th I don't think it's that the yellow's too dull. I think it's the pattern that we need a solid. I really think, but give me a second and I'm going to go find a cardstock because if I can tie a little bit of that in, I think it will be good. See, so I could do happy springtime. We could do happy sunshine and the colors are a lot duller, but I still think it could be good. So let's look. We'll figure it out, okay? But there's lots of things that I could do. I can also tie the yellow in a little bit more. And here, let me, I'm gonna look. Let's see if we can find, but who has neon cardstock? Who has neon cardstock? Because I my cardstock collection is not at all what it used to be. Do you know what I mean? When we used to have so much freaking cardstock. So this is orange, but I don't know if it's going to do it. Let's see. But look, do you see what I'm saying? Tie in a little bit of that. What do you think? Right? A little bit of the orange in here. But how can we do it in a subtle way? I'm getting a circle punch.
here we go. You have neon cardstock, do you? You all look at you all have neon cardstock. So watch. Er, er, tie some of the orange in here as like like a little like as if it's going to be a label. What do you think? It's the color does is not as bright and vibrant, but maybe we can fake it. Maybe we can fake it. Maybe we can fake it. And I cut this hello, but the hello's not going to work now. So let's find some things. Let's do some things. So we have these labels here too. That song is so in my head. Savage love. Somebody, does somebody break your heart? There's only one circle on here. So do we have a circle? Oh, there's circles on here. Will one of them work? Smile. But it's all very, um, very subtle. And we need something, a pow. Pow, vibrant. If I could use a circle on one and we could do a square on something else, right? What other color could I use? The blue. So I could take that or we could do that. Why can't we layer a square on a circle or a rectangle on a circle? Why can't we? Right? And then we can put some words in there. I don't mind that, right? I like it. Blue, turquoise accents look great with that orange. I think so, right? I'm totally digging that. And then we have this piece down here that we can add like that. And then put our title. I don't mind that at all. Do you? And then it's going to all be about the photos. The photos are going to be what make that magic. But this, I'm not minding. This is coming together. Sometimes you need to take some stuff away and then add it back and then decide. And we still, we can use our butterflies if we want, but I don't, I don't think I want butterflies on here. Can you believe I just said that? I think this needs to be more graphic, like title work. I think we need titles and stuff on here. It is not about the, the flowers and stuff on this one. I feel like it shapes. You could also paint one of the frames with your neon paint. Totally could, couldn't we? But I feel like, you know what I want to do instead of painting the frame? I might put some of the color, this, make that color and put it on my cardstock. So I could customize my cardstock color. Because I feel like if I, I might even paint. Oh, I just had an idea. What if we paint some of the edges of the pattern paper too? So we could tie the exact yellow right into the pattern paper. I know. What have I done with Vicky, right? I'm saying, I don't think we need the butterflies. I think, like, let's do this more, um, like, graphic. I think graphic. And the gold would be beautiful on here, too. So I totally am flipping the script. I'm switching all of it. Look at moments with the gold. I like that. Moments. Memories all alone in the moonlight. So let's look. Moments. Oh, I like it. So I'll figure this out, but digging that. Um, I like this. And I was not liking it. I'm not going to lie. I was like, uh-oh. Now what am I going to do? I made caca. It looks not pretty at all. But it's coming together now. So I'm going to grab some different embellishments here. 
you know, I'm sure it's hard. I'm not going to lie to do this live with when you have kind of just a little bit of a plan and not a full plan. Sometimes it is very trying because you'll be looking at it going, mm, not liking how this is turning out. Right. So I am going to let's do what I said, like, how do you make it work sometimes when it's not working exactly how you would like it to? So I have my stencil brush and I have, and we're going to quickly customize some of these elements. Ready? Doing the things, doing the things. First thing I'm going to do, do I have a piece of this left? We can test it. Let's test it on here. So I am thinking, yep, that just worked. Watch this magic happen. Okay. Taking this. Totally making this work. Do you see that? What's going to happen? Oh my goodness. Look at, it's like I'm inking my edges. When do you ever see that freaking happen? It's perfect. That's perfect. So that is the first thing that just happened. That magic just happened right there in front of your eyes. Right? We just customized this to work so we didn't have to like go out and buy something new. And I have to say, I would never have even thought of that. It is not even full on neon. It just made the prettiest mustardy color on this paper. Look at this. That, oh my goodness. And look when it's drying. <gasps> I love it. I love this. And it was just sitting here going, okay, how's, how's Vicky going to fix this freaking hot mess that she just made? What do you think, Dawn? It's better, don't you think? Were you guys disappointed? Were you like, okay, Vicky just made crap right in front of us. I want you to be impressed with how I brought it back, fixed it. Oops. And then, and then didn't fix it. Look at Totally love that. And now let's take these circles. Ooh, this is very sticky. Take these circles. And all I'm going to do on the circles is add pink. I'm just going to add some pink on here. I love it. I love it. So look. Pink. One mist, because I filled my mister bottle. One mist. I don't want it too wet, because I don't want to buckle my, um... oh, yes. Look. Look. <gasps> it's perfect. And it's just a little tiny bit on here, and that's all I needed to customize that cardstock to match. Now it is a little bit damp, so it's going to be a little buckly. But it works. Perfect. I'm happy. I just made neon cardstock to match. I'm going to actually add more pink. Here's another thing. We could you totally could take white too, couldn't you? Why can't you? And do that and punch them out, right? I like that. So I'm going to do this so I have two options, okay? So then I can decide. We can decide when we're working if we want to leave the orange. Or we could do a double layer and do one a little bit pink. See what's happening here? So you missed. Missed. So the paint goes farther, okay? Oh, I 
I kind of like it. Stickly, stickly. Okay. So now I'll be able to punch that out. And if I want to layer another piece on top, I can. And Vicky made a mess again. But now I like that too. Very much so. <gasps> I love it. Okay, we just made it work. It's all going to work. Just brighten that paper up just a little bit that we needed it. And now all the embellishments will still work. So I'm a very happy girl. Good. We made it work. So this is fun. So we just showed you another use for your texture paste set that you can customize and make. So say you love it and you want to do something with the neon colors, but you don't have anything in your stash that is going to necessarily match this. Well, guess what? You can just put it on the papers that you have and customize them to make it work. So I love that, love that. So I'm gonna let that dry. I don't know if I need that now cause I'm digging what happened here. So we added some to the corners and that made this paper work perfectly. We just made magic. See, look it, totally works now. Everything totally works now. I love that. but I need to clean these up a little bit because um, my paper trimmer blade is dull. So it made hairy um, mats. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? And you know, with cardstock is the worst thing when your um, trimmer blade is dull because if I had a nail file, I would just quickly file the edges, but better. And then we're going to make these look like Polaroids. And then I will just replace the white mats with a photo. But I love that idea to make them look like little Polaroids. So very happy with that. Is that how we had it laid out? I think so, right? And now with the little bit of pink on there, totally made a new color. And it matches now perfectly. Do we want to do that or do we like them both at the sides? Kind of. And we have... this which oh my goodness that um color on that orangey pink is beautiful so and i did like this one the blue but we'll put the gold of that matte to the top And then our little thing can go this way too and put my title on it like that. And then we can find something to embellish and add. Um, and we can also decide what else a subtitle to go with that. What do we think? I like it. Do you guys like it? Uh, 
Um, yeah, never give up on a project, right? A neon pink heart or two. Yeah, that would be fun. The Polaroids are the perfect vibe. I like it better. So thank you for that suggestion. A couple of you had said to make it look like a Polaroid. And um, I'm glad that I listened to you and I wasn't a ding dong who's like, I'm just going to do my own thing. So uh, totally digging it. Are we okay with the Polaroids like being black? I think it's all right, right? And we'll add our foam dots in just to add some dimension. And then something to go with my title. What is this? Awesome moments. That's fun. Beauty. Let's look. Let's look at all of the different things that we have because we have to find moments together. Look at what do we think? They're all tied up. Do we like moments together? I feel like we need a bold color. Extraordinary moments, maybe. Ooh, look at sun-kissed moments. And we could paint in the open spaces to tie the color in. What do we think? That might be fun, right? Because then that gives us the opportunity to tie in the colors so that it works better and do sun-kissed moments. And then we could paint some of that orange inside. What do you think, guys? Right? I like that. It's not right now. I'm not even looking at the title. It's what colors will work because breathtaking moments family moments because it's the color right there's the issue we're having look at breathtaking breathtaking moments and it ties that blue do we like that so don't even think about the title as much as what colors will work because that is where we're at is like how do we make these colors work Because the pink is a little on the purple side. Breathtaking moments. Do you guys like that? Because the blue. Moments together. But you see what I... Here's my issue. Is the um, color. Because it's gold and orange. Vicky is struggling. Like, I love cool moments. I love the boldness of this, but the color doesn't go at all. Lovely. But the color doesn't go at all. We could use the gold letters. Look at how do we want to stick with just the gold letters? What color was extraordinary? It is the mint. Extraordinary moments with the gold, see? But then our frame, well, we could switch frames. I could switch frames. I don't have to use that frame. So let's look right now for, do we like extraordinary moments? I feel like it's too, nothing is bold enough breathtaking moments. I don't mind that. Look at that. This right now is my favorite so far because the blue from breathtaking ties into that blue frame. And then I could tie, you know, how right at the beginning um, we were talking about, um, uh, we were talking about um, the blue accents look pretty on the page. So I can come back and find a way to tie that in too. I'm going to go with breathtaking moments. Because, and then let's decide on a different frame that we could use. That will work. Because I'm going to take that turquoise out because that's thrown the whole thing off. Right? So we can use that on something else. 
And we could also um, tie that pink, watch, I just cleaned everything up, but oh, do it with this one. I'm gonna put that underneath it, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw, <laughs> let's get the mess out again. Getting the mess out one more time. Too much. Okay, look. Let's go in with blending brush. Blending brush. There we go. And we just customized that to go. And that's going to pull it all together. So it almost looks like a little neon sign. What do we think? Looks like a little neon sign, breathtaking moments. And then we need to tie the blue in. <laughs> so I agree. Get my blue butterfly back out. But do you think? I think it needs to be very just subtle. Very subtle. There's things we could do. You know what we could do that could be really fun? Is I could trim this background down and put this blue as a piece of cardstock behind it. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. If I trim this down, and I that's what I'm going to, I know already I'm going to do it. Is that if I trim this down and mat the background with that blue cardstock, I I will totally love this. Like, I think that's all it needs. And then my photos are going to have a lot of blue in it. But yes, I feel like, um, I don't know if I want to put blue accents. I think I should pull in like a different color. Maybe gold, right? Let's look. And then we'll make our card. Where's the sticker sheet? Did Natalie leave us? This is probably putting her over the edge. She's probably like, oh my goodness, Vicki, what are you doing there? But I like this now. Like I like that with the gold and then just something in here burp, burp, in the little frames. And I was even looking to just see if there was a word that I could put in there. Um, just lovely, sunny and bright. We could put the yellow that kind of continues. Right? Look at. I kind of like that. Do the tone on tone vibe. Or did Natalie go to eat her cake and never come back? <laughs> Do you put your layouts in albums? I'm starting to. Every one that I'm doing this year, I am putting in albums, Brenda. So everything else, no, but um, they're all just in boxes all over the place. But this year, everything that we do together on Friday Night Lives, because I put photos on everything, I'm very proud of myself that I've put photographs on everything, have been going in to, let's 
see sunshine i like that i'm gonna find another one sunny and bright or yay Ooh, the best time we'll put the best time um are going into albums because at the end of the year i want us all to be able to share what we've created right it is this is very different for me but i'm very much digging it like it um is very different from what you usually do with me but i what i'm excited about is it wasn't oops that's upside down it wasn't going the way i wanted it to go but i stuck with it and i really love where it's going now if that makes sense that wasn't just a whole mouthful of gobbledygook I want a little bit of orange to show. I don't want that right on the paper. Like that. Do, do. But I'm loving just that little gold, right? So I'm going to grab a piece of paper quickly, cardstock, and show you what that's going to look like. I feel like this looks like a movie poster or something, doesn't it? Do you get that vibe? Like it's got a movie poster vibe. Can I find that blue quickly? I don't know. Kind of. Let's see. This might be too gray, but let's just see. I want you to see what I'm talking about. Look, I'll find the blue, but do you see how that will, if I cut this down and mat that, that that's going to make the difference. This one doesn't match. But it kind of does, look, yes, like an, a very 80s movie poster, right? Do I put them in page protectors? Yes. Yes, I do. But I'm totally, I'm, I'm going to finish this off camera and I will share it with you. But this, if I trim this down a little bit, this blue doesn't match, but I'm going to get the exact blue and I am going to mat that like that. And I love this layout and I'll put photos on it, okay? gold drips yeah you i could put some gold could totally put some gold i'm gonna i'm this one i feel like i've gone as far as i can tonight i'm gonna have to step away from it and come back and finish it but you guys get the gist right i'm really digging it though okay so i'm gonna move it and i'll finish it and i will have it posted this weekend i don't want it to fall on the floor so finding a spot for it and let's finish the card though this i can wrap my head around um totally digging this so i can i'm going to decide if i want to pop it up i love shine on here so i'm going to do like a linear element i'm going to pop that up and just do something fun on here if i felt like get my sewing machine out i think sewing some really crazy stitches up and down would be awesome but we could fake it we could fake it with a pen and a ruler but we can put this one together so um is vicky still here or did vicky leave vicky kk the two k's vicky because vicky had said she wasn't sure if she liked neon did i change anybody's mind or are you still firmly in the i don't like neon camp because um here's the thing is i set myself up tonight because i was like we're going to use this product line but it there was no neon in it right so I kind of set myself up going, okay, got, got to figure this out now, Vicki, because this is what you pick to use, even though it doesn't really match. So I don't want you to think it's that neon sucks. It's that um, I made it difficult, right, with the paper choice that I made and the colors. But, oh, my goodness, look how fun. Look how fun this is going to be. But don't you agree, a linear aspect? Are you still here, Don? Are my card makers still in the house? Will a linear aspect be fun on this? What about linear aspect like this? Or do you think that I should do it like that? Right? Do you like the linear aspect? But I feel like if I'm going to do the linear aspect, I need to build on the linear bit. So I feel like I need to do something under here that's going to make that work. 
That's just my thought, right? You think the linear would be cool, Mari? I do too, but don't you agree? I need to put a label or a banner or something underneath it. And you know what my struggle, oh, but look at the linear aspect on the, um, oh my goodness, look at that. When we do the, uh, Mari, quickly remind me, what is the size for uh, slimline? Because I can pick a different word on here, but I totally think. Because this right now is three. Three. Hi, Marlene. How are you? This is three by eight and a half. So I'm going to put shine still on this one. But I am going to find a long, like, look at, do you see what I'm saying? But you couldn't put unbelievable on a card. Could I put unbelievable? And then I could put a subtitle on it. Would that be okay on a card? Could a card be unbelievable? Extraordinary. Unbelievable, extraordinary. We could go totally off and just put orange for together. I don't like that at all. Right? But I don't know. I have to figure out, like, because I like that color on there because it kind of goes with the green. But I don't know what I could put for a sentiment that would go with unbelievable. Unbelievable. If it was unbelievably... That would be good. Unbelievable fun. <laughs> adorable could work. Like adorable. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Can you see now Vicky is like, um, I don't know. I have to play. I like the script on the slim line. Me too. But there's only one, Don. Happy. I could do something with happy, but I feel like it needs to be long. Vicky's struggling. Oh, I could use these. We could use these. That totally would be awesome, don't you think? So give me a word and tell me what the finish sign is size is for um for um a slim line. So that I know do I have to cut this down? Right? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not digging the un unbelievable. So we are going to put a word on here. Three and a half by eight and a half. So this right now is three by eight and a half, I said, right? So I will just make it a three by eight and then I can mount it. So let's make this three by eight. And then I will cut a... I will cut a mat later, like a card base later. But now that will work. And we can do two cards right now. We're going to make it, make it work. Do you like the blue on there? And then put a little piece underneath shine. Do you like that? You're unbelievable. That is fun, right? You're unbelievable. Do we like that blue on there? And then just put a little piece, a little banner underneath shine. And then let's find, we don't need to use unbelievable. We're going to use these. So um, give me a long sentiment, a long word sentiment. How about shine bright on this one? Should I do, I'm going to do shine bright. So let's do that right now. Shine bright. Get these little suckers off here. Shine bright.
shine bright like a diamond. Knew that was coming, didn't you? You knew that was coming. So I'm not tacking these down down yet. I just get my letters on. Tonight, you and I, beautiful like diamonds in the sky. You were singing that in your head too, Karina? Yeah. Every time I see that shine bright, Rihanna pops into my head. Yeah, Rihanna pops into my head. And I heard Britney Spears took her Instagram down because she kind of went off the rails and was posting some crazy stuff. But I did not see it. I don't know where, why I segued into Britney Spears after talking about Rihanna, but just so you know. Now you're singing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I love it. So you're channeling Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And I was channeling Shine Bright Like a Diamond. So you were on LSD. <laughs> and I was shining bright like a diamond, Stella. Right? Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Isn't that what that stood for? Wasn't that? Am I making that up? I thought that's what it was, but maybe I just made that up. Stella, did I make that up? Nice. <laughs> you know, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Stella, you just made my night. That is the best comment ever. Yeah, she took her eye gene down. I think, isn't it? Lucy in the sky with diamonds. I was thought that's what it was. Nope, it isn't, Diane. I thought that, that's, that it stood for LSD. Right? Oh, I didn't make it up. It's real, right? I think that's what that song ref was referencing. But the best was uh, Stella's comment. Nice. Nice, Vicky. I was only teasing you, though. You know that, right? Oh, I think this is going to be really fun. And then I will position the words. But look, I think it's going to be fun. Do you think it stands out enough? Because the letters are very thin. Shine bright. And it'd be fun if we put some little stars in here, right? Bright T. That's what I'm looking for. T. Ooh, the T is awesome in here. It was never confirmed. Yeah. So the tool in my hand, Lorena, is just a pokey tool. I was just doing it to poke the centers of the, uh, the things out. I'm just using my hands. But I love that, don't you? I just have to place them and stick them down and I'm overlapping them a little bit. <gasps> I love it. And we totally, you could put some gold dot uh, drips of paint on there if we wanted to. Do you guys um, like this? I'm committing. So <laughs> Do you like that I ask you and then I'm like, well, it doesn't matter because I'm doing it anyway. Um, I really, really like that. So I'm going to commit. How many times have I done that tonight? What do you think? Yeah, I don't care. I'm doing what I want anyway. If my mother's out there, which I'm sure Sheila is, she is probably laughing. She goes, I love, she'll tell me, she go, she'll say, I love that you ask people and then just do whatever you want anyway. Uh, yep. Yep. I would say there's total truth in that. What do you think? Yeah, 
that's nice. I'm going to do this. Um, shine bright. Let's move this for a minute just so I can get the spacing. So I'm sorry. Cause you're, I bet you, do you guys talk to like, um, when you are at home where you will say things like, like, um, thanks for asking me anyway, Vicki. Like, do you say that kind of thing out loud? Well, what'd you ask for? If my friend Janice was out there, she would tell me, yeah, I, that's what I was saying to you. Well, what'd you ask for? You weren't listening to me anyway, but I did listen tonight. Sometimes I just got to get there, right? You will give me the suggestion and it's not that it's not a good suggestion. I just have to find my way to it. Right. So I find I'll find my way to it. But I love that shine bright. Right. It's what we do. It's what we all do in crops. I love it. Artist prerogative. Right. Um, but I think like, what do you think? Like some maybe a couple little gold dots of paint, like a couple gold drips. <gasps> using that drip stamp i could put like a little drip like this was handwritten with ink and your ink kind of splatted what do you guys think do you know what i'm talking about so that's how i'll finish this and i'll share it later but i'm gonna put like an ink splat on there somewhere okay but i love that so i just need to put it on a base so this will be a pretty little um uh slim line with uh, some gold on there. I know, but you have to be laughing that you're like, she asks me and then she just does whatever the heck she wants anyway. Yeah. Crazy Vicky. Crazy Vicky. So let's put the dots on the top of my eye and then, oops, that's an N. That is not an I, Vicky. You dingling. There, that is an I. And one on this one, too. <laughs> Don, when you're doing your um, lives, do you even ask? Or do you just do what you want? Because I, I guess if I put it out there, I should probably listen to the suggestions. That would be a, a nice thing to do. Should my slimline go this way? Or do you like the slimline going this way? And then what are we thinking with this one? I love the shine on here, but don't you agree that it needs something to um, create the um, linear kind of line? I ask and still do what I want. <laughs> okay. That's just a people pleaser in you. You feel the need to ask even when you have no intention of listening. Maybe. Maybe there's truth in that, Dawn. Ooh, look at that yellow. You know the yellow we had used where I added the pigment underneath it? That could be a, a cool, like if I cut a piece of that out to create the banner underneath it. Because that's in my head, although I don't know if I have any of that yellow left. That in my head is what this needs, is something that runs underneath this. I love the shine on the black. Help me, card makers. It needs a line. <laughs> the boss of me. Hi, Patty. No, uh, no one, no one's the boss of me. Well, especially Patty. Patty will tell me that um, even if she agrees with her husband, Ron, but if he said, tells her to do something, she goes, now I can never do it. <laughs> like Now that you said it out loud, now I can never do it because you said it and it wasn't my idea first. I might have a little bit of that in me too. So now we got to figure out what's going on here, friends, because I feel like it le needs a linear aspect. Uh, maybe a strip of gold metallic cardstock. You are so smart, Murray. Okay, don't leave me. I'm just going to grab it because I have a pad of Tim Holtz metallic cardstock. So I just got to get it. Hopefully, I know where it is. So smart, Murray. Okay. 
Oh, Mari. Mari is the winner tonight. That was perfect. It does. It totally needs our gold arrow. Oh, maybe I'll layer it. Give me a second. Okay, I found a pad in the store because this is stuff that needs to be added. So I just shopped my store, but I don't know if it's gold. It might be, it might not be gold, it might be copper. Do you love that? A gold arrow would be fun. Mari is the winner tonight. See, you card makers though, right? Sometimes my head doesn't work like that. See, ooh, ooh, it's gonna be so good, Mari. Thank you for the suggestion. What did you say, Patty? You got it, I think, for myself. Yeah, I love it. Well, now that Mari had such a good idea, we totally could get any die out now and freaking die cut the metallic paper that I just went and stole out of the stash I have to put in my store. But yes, yes. So do we want to die cut it or do we want, I'll show you a thin slice, hopefully with my um, very bad trimmer blade, I can do it. Like just, I'm going to do a thin, thin, thin one, right? But we could also punch this or do a scalloped border but it is everything. <gasps> or I like the simplicity of that. Don't you? I love the thin slice. Mari. Mari is the winner tonight. Oh my goodness. I love that. I love it. That's what's going on here, Mari. Oh, look it. Fun things are happening. So if you stuck around, thank you. Um, if you're watching after the fact, I hope you enjoyed tonight because you got to see where it wasn't. You know, sometimes it's just easy and it all just kind of worked out. Like we had to work through stuff tonight. Like we had to make it work tonight. So I think that that is very fun. I don't want to line it up right with the black. I want to see some of that kind of distress, but I also need to make sure it's straight. So we need a ruler before we completely commit. And this is, um, let's push that over a bit. So perfect. Push it over just a little bit. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, I love this so much, Mari. I love it. Totally stole my idea from Mari. She was brilliant with that. Didn't even borrow it. I totally stole that idea and everybody's going to think I'm the smart one. If they didn't have the volume on, they'll be like, wow, look what Vicky came up with. And Mari will be like, that's a lie. It was all my idea and I won't give her any credit. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, did you see my teeny tiny little carrots? No. Where do I see that? I have not been on the socials at all this week. I was writing instructions. I was doing all that yucky stuff, right? I will totally give you credit, Mari. Because you know what? Sometimes it takes a village to complete a card. And look at I'm just to totally doing a card maker thing right now, aren't I? Because I used to stick 10 million 
foam dots on my card. And, and then my card maker friend said, you need foam tape. So I'm like, okay, I want to be a serious card maker. I better, I want to pop this up because it makes me happy. Okay. Oh, I love this so much. My stories on Facebook. They're so sad. Oh, did is this in your garden or did, I thought you made them? Is that in your garden, Don? Look at me with all that adhesive. It's almost making me choke. <laughs> takes a village to make a card. It takes a village to make a card. It totally does. When Vicky's a dingbat, right? Who can't figure stuff out. It. I needed a lot of help tonight. And some of it I even took. I asked for the help. And some of it I even took. <gasps> Mari. I love that. Do you guys like that? Do you feel like it needs much more? Should I put the butterfly on it or just leave it like this? And maybe how about like three gold dots? Three long months for some niblets. So your carrots didn't grow? Ah. I don't want the butterfly, so but I feel like I need um, to put some kind of gems or something, don't you? What about some just gold um, sequins? What do you think? Look at like that's like Vicky going out with no earrings on. Like if I only put shine on here, I won't even be able to handle it. I won't even be able to handle it. I'm not going to lie. The golds don't exactly match, but it's still, what do you think? Like three just gold um, dots. Do you know what I'm talking about? One, two, three gold dots or gems or something, right? I do. I feel like it just needs beep, beep, beep. And then I would love an arrow like this or something that would make me super happy. Got to embellish the heck out of it, but I don't know. What do you guys think? No butterfly, I agree, but we'll figure it. Gold splatters, yes, right? Should I use the stamp and just do like, psh, 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 or just some drips? I'll figure it out and I will show you tomorrow. I will post it, you will see. And do you think I should mat this one on black too? I think so, right? I think the black really will be pretty, right? To do the thin stream, uh, what do you call this? Slim line on the black. So I do, I think, right? Let me show you. I have sequins right here so I can at least show you that. I don't have to go look. So even if it's not the sequins, but you, you'll get what I'm saying with the... Um, idea. Ooh, like, see? What about that? Do you like the bling? With sequins. Do, 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 do. What do we think? Ooh, look at that. It's cold in the basement, so I apologize. My nose is running a little bit. What do we think? I really like it. You don't like this? I really like that. That really makes me happy. <laughs> Smaller ones? I don't know. Is that bad? Is it bad that I like that a lot? I really like that. Let me put it closer so you can see. Look at, and they're little matte ones. Is it okay if I do that? I could still put a splat right here if you want me to but I kind of am really just digging the texture of that. 
you're dividing the card need to break the plane. Okay, that is way too technical for me, Don. I am not, I am a novice card maker, so I don't even know what we're talking about that I'm dividing the, the a plane. See, I would totally do that. And then I would still put an arrow down here too. I would still do that. Just add the splatter. Okay, I will. I'll just add a splatter right here. Is that where you want? Like right here? Is that what you want, Don? Well, they're too big for only three. That's why I took them off. But where are we saying I need the splatter? We're going to do it right now. Where are we saying I need the splatter? Um, you do what you want and it will be fabulous. No, because now you just told me technical stuff, Dawn, and I want to do it right. So I'm not upset at all. Tell me what I need to do. But where do we think? Like the splatter I feel like needs to be right here. Like at the end of shine underneath the line. Is that what we talk about? Right? Like if the splatter is going to be like this. Oh, it'd be cool where it kind of comes underneath. What do we think? So when that dries, it's going to be completely gold. Is that what we like? I put it right there. Can you see it? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Got it off. There we go. You have a left and right side now. Splatter will join the two. So do we like that, Don? This is good. So when this dries, you guys will see it. I think this will be really pretty. There. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Thank you for that. I'm very happy with that. So it looks white and creamy right now until the uh, water evaporates and then it will just be pretty gold. So you want it on the left too? So some up here too? I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh, and maybe some right here. Okay. I think that's good. I'm happy with that. I hope that you guys agree. And we'll just let that dry and I will share it and you will see what it looks like. I like that. I'm quite happy with that. When this dries, that will be good. Um, do you think it needs like some gems or anything or well, I'll decide tomorrow and you'll see if my decision was right or if it looks like a dumb, dumb card. <laughs> we'll see. Right. But. I made a card tonight. I have this left where um, I can, oh, let's put this on here too while we're at it. Cause this is, this will just be our um, slimline version of our card. So I am just putting where it looks like We have a little bit of something going on here that it looks like somebody hand wrote in gold. Right? Pretty. Okay. 
So I think, right? I think that is going to be nice when it's done. I actually like this. Did we decide it needs some like little charms on it or anything or or step away from the card, Vicky? And then if you just are checking in, we're going to finish I'm going to finish this. I'll add some photos and I'm going to I'm going to put a mat underneath it cuz I feel like I need to tie that blue in underneath it. But really dig in this. I'm going to work on it a little bit more, but I love it. I love it. I'm doing all the things and I'm learning as a card maker because now, Don, you're going to have to send me a text or a message that explains to me what you were explaining because now I feel like I need to know what that was. The technical stuff. I need to know. I need to know the things, right? Hi. I need to learn the things. So, um, it might be something that I understand. I just didn't know what the verbiage was. Does that make sense? Sometimes I don't know what the verbiage is because I find when you are, um, when you do things visually, you understand it by doing it, but I don't understand the verbiage design principles. I know it, but it, the splitting, yeah, I don't know. I don't know doing some of the time but this was fun tonight i hope you enjoyed that don't forget that um i'm going to do a giveaway 25 dollar gift certificate to vickybooten.com and i'm going to give that whole stack of this beautiful collection happy heart by pink fresh because i got extra but i am going to do a, another layout where i actually um use the product on a much more um pastel background because uh it's going to be beautiful but it was a little bit of a struggle tonight because i use like neon vibrant color right so it will be a little bit crazy but i had so much fun tonight i hope you enjoyed that i hope you guys have some fun plans for the weekend and um make sure you come and check us out on vicky Booten creative the Vicki Booten Creative, uh, I'm tired now, Vicki Booten Creative Community on Facebook. And the giveaway will be posted there tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow at this point of night. And um, it will run for the whole week. So, um, and I will ship it anywhere. I'll ship it anywhere. So it doesn't matter where you live. Um, I will totally do that. Okay. So that was so much fun. By the way, you look magnificent. Thank you. I have lost 30 pounds, so I am feeling very good about that. And um, I have my shirt with the little leopards on it, right? It kind of went with the whole 80s vibe tonight. So thank you so much. And you guys stuck around for so long. Natalie has put a link there on Facebook if you need to find the group page. Please, if you haven't already, make sure that you um, hit the like button and you subscribe as well, the little button, uh, the little bell. And I'm here every Friday night creating <laughs> sometimes painful magic. And sometimes it runs a lot smoother. So yay, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for another episode, whatever these are called, another uh, Friday Night Live. So thanks so much, friends. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you next week. If you're signed up for my newsletter, watch for one that will be coming out I'm going to try for Monday, okay? And then has lots of new stuff that's going to be happening. And we shall see you later. Thanks, friends. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.